In this video, we'll tell you a bit about Scantron Forms. This is the timing track. Each mark indicates a potential response area. It's important that students don't make any stray marks in the timing track area. This is the feed direction arrow. Most forms have this feature. It indicates how the form should enter the test scoring machine. Immediately above question one is the key marking row. This is where you set your scoring options on the key. This is the optional subjective scoring area. Here you can mark the score for essay or lab work to have it added to the total score for the test. This is the optional multiple version area. You can have up to four versions of a test. Simply mark one of the bubbles to identify the key or test version. And there you have it. Now that you know the parts of a form, you're well on your way to becoming a Scantron form expert. We'll see you next time.